What's up YouTube? It's your boy Taekwon again coming with your late night slow jams. We got Nana by Jay Park and Loco. Today I wanted to show you uh, a tank you haven't seen before. This is actually my 29 gallon Mbuna tank and I had initially posted the first video, my very first YouTube video ever, but I had posted it the wrong way and so I had to delete it because it was garbage so I uh, just wanted to update you guys this is really the tank and some of the fish that really got me started uh, in the aquarium hobby basically when the quarantine started so you know we're talking early 2020 um, I wasn't real serious into fish until then and then, you know, when you get locked up and you have no place to go uh, and you just get bored out of your brain. And if you watched every Netflix show the, that can be offered on that platform, it's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta do other things to stay busy and, you know, stay active and maintain new hobbies and things like that. So, you know, I really picked up, you know, fish just from watching guys like uh, Paul Cafaro, um, and I think like Nick Bingo and some other guys on YouTube that have fish and um, you know love to, to keep them like this as well so yeah so this is my 29 gallon tank that I purchased at Pet Supplies Plus they actually had one of those Petco deals where it was it's a dollar a gallon so I basically swooped in there uh, I just showed up I didn't know they had that deal going on and swooped out had to call an uber and just chuck a 29 in the back of an uber it was kind of hilarious but yeah made sure that this came home with me for 29 dollars. there's no way on god's earth you're buying a glass aquarium 29 gallon for 29 dollars. i mean it looks beautiful and i bought this stand super cheap on walmart for like i don't know under 50 bucks or something but it just looks good i think in my opinion the overall just look, it's it's kind of my show tank, my Mbuna tank, but you know, just going deeper into the fish. Yeah, so here we have uh, Maylandia uh, Lombardoi, or the Kenny cichlid right there, that golden one right there, as well as another Kenny cichlid right there. Uh, these guys are both Kenny's, and it's kind of funny because I initially got the first Kenny cichlid when he was at about an inch long, so obviously they are much 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 bigger fish now uh especially if you guys have seen that uh M mbuna the baby mbuna video that i posted if you haven't make sure you go check it out and subscribe hit the like button uh because it kind of shows you the size difference of you know inch inch and a half mbuna versus these guys who i'd say are about I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments how big you think these fish are. I haven't really taken out a, a tape measure or anything like that, but my guess is four or five inches. So they are beautiful. And like I said, this Kenny cichlid, initially for the longest time, I had thought that he was a female because he started off juvenile like all the male juveniles do as blue striped and then he lost his stripes and turned gold so i was like oh crap this is a female so i was like all right let's try and pair this guy off and this is debo i mean debo from friday he was just the boss you know he will come around and snatch the chain off your neck so you gotta make sure <laughs> you gotta make sure if debo's around you put your chain away because he will straight protect your neck son um and take that away from you so you know i thought it was just a really aggressive really super aggressive mbuna female kenny cichlid but after doing more research i found out that the kenny males turn gold and lose their stripes the kenny females remain blue and striped um and so i got this guy over here um this is another, I got this male Kenny because, you know, obviously I'd identified his egg spots and was, you know, looking male in the tank and everything like that. And I got him trying to pair him off. And I found out that, you know, Debo is already the super alpha dominant snatcher chain male already. And he's 
already the tank boss. Any tank most likely unless they're extremely, extremely predator hap type fish. Uh, I think Debo is going to be the tank boss. Um, but uh, second in this tank behind Debo in the hierarchy, we actually have our red zebra. And I think this is a female, but if you guys know uh, or have more expertise and can sex like a male versus female zebra. Um, but this guy, I mean, she has like maybe one spot, but I think I read that if they have zero to three, that they could still be female. So I think this is just a, a female uh, red zebra. I could be wrong and it could be a male, but this is OJ to Juice Man. And uh, here she, I think she is also just super very social, loves to play hide and seek with me. Uh, this right here is my Aratus, and this is uh, Ori, the Aratus, Robert Ori. Clutch three-point shooter for the Lakers right there. Uh, so this is Robert, but actually she's a female, um, so keep in mind that my names have no association or tie to whether the fish is actually male or female or not. It's just the stupid quirk that I name all my fish after something. Um, but yeah, Robert Ori over here is a female Aratus, and Aratus, like I mentioned in my other video along with the Yellowtail Asi uh, and Electric Blue Yohanny Cichlids are just some of the most incredible swimmers in, I think, the cichlid category. They can, you know, dodge and dive between networks of caves and tunnels so easily that the Ambunas can't really chase them. Like, Debo could try to chase them right now and in the open water get pretty close, but, you know, anything around rocks or caves or anything, he's just way too agile uh, and will just completely get out too fast. So, yeah, we got Debo, we got OJ the Juice Man. Um, oh, I forgot, this is uh, this is Lombardi. Uh, well, he, I don't know where he went. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's Lombardi over there, and that's because... Uh, the Kenny cichlid species name is uh, Maylandia lombardii. Um, and, you know, I thought it'd be fitting, you know, being in Chicago. Um, I don't know if there's actually a tie there or not, but I just threw it out there. <laughs> and then I also have a, a, a pearl mutt cichlid in there, Hero. And just a, just a heads up, this is, my, this is my dog. This is Hero. Hey, boy. Who's your good boy, Hero? Who's your good boy? You wanna play with squirrel? You like squirrel? Yeah. You want you want a squirrel? Anyways, I'm sorry guys. Uh, just heading back to the tank real quick. Sorry, I got sidetracked. I'm like a dog looking for a squirrel, but we have the pearl mutt cichlid here. Hero. Okay, no more squirrel. You're gonna come with daddy. All right. So, anyways, like I said. We have the pearl mud cichlid, and her name, I think it's a female. You guys let me know if you can tell in the comments, but this is Pearl, and she's just a really agile swimmer as well. More of the top water swimmer, and uh, that's how she's able to survive in this tank, because Debo is an Ambuna, and the Ambunas love the caves and network of tunnels and hiding and being aggressive and territorial. Uh, whereas this pearl mutt seems to be able to like and be able to thrive on the top water and not garner uh, as much attention. So, you know, really been able to thrive in this tank. You know, at this size, I feel like they're just gonna blow up in explosive growth. So I wanna see if I can throw and find a couple rare and Buna that I can throw in here. And you guys let me know in the comments if you have any cool ideas for rare Imbunas that could handle Debo. So <laughs> anyways, I wanted to show you guys this tank because this is my main show tank. And one of the main reasons I got into, you know, fish keeping and shrimp keeping is because of Debo and OJ to Juice Man, some of my first two fish. So just wanted to make sure you guys knew them and, um, you know, knew the reason why, you know, I love uh, and am so passionate about this. Uh, uh, in today's date so you know thanks a lot i appreciate it uh and peace